Hi, I'm Bob and I'm standing next to the Frankland River in the Tarkine and we've just been looking at these wonderful blue and white ancient freshwater crayfish. Now Todd Walsh, who's brought us out here today, is the world expert, but he says he doesn't know enough about it. We don't know why they're blue and white in this river uh, when they're already brown in the other rivers of the Tarkine and the northeast. Is it genetic? Is it something to do with the minerals in the water? There's only one way we'll find out, and that's by working on it. My name's Todd Walsh, and my role is to help protect the giant freshwater lobster and its habitat. We've had two standout events today. Uh, we got a large female with, uh, with berry, which are eggs, and she's also bright blue with white claws, so one of the prettiest um, lobsters you'll ever come across. And then to top it off, we've got uh, one of the largest males that we've caught in this system which is about 1.6 kilos and he's a, a beautiful blue boy which is only in the Frankland River that we tend to find predominantly um, blue males where other systems brown. That's what BioBlitz is about. It's about scientists coming into the forests, showing other people for sure, but extending the knowledge of what makes the Tarkine ecosystem tick because that's important to all of us. Because what makes this planet tick is what makes us tick. Without the planet, we're nothing. The, tar the work for the Tarkine is never going to end. I think that the biodiversity of the place, there's 100 PhDs everywhere you look. Even on, on Astacopsis school guide, the giant freshwater lobster, there's a half dozen PhDs just working around the Tarkine. And the Tarkine is one of the last strongholds of this animal. And the Frankland River that's just across here basically backs into the Arthur Palmer protected area. If we can protect down to this bridge, you've got one of the largest subcatchments possible to protect this animal forever. It's as simple as that, so it can't overestimate or underestimate the importance of this, this event. And whether or not we decide to let the Tarkine go to mining and logging, we should know first what we're going to lose. That's a work not yet done. That's why BioBlitz is here. That's why people like Todd Walsh are extremely important for us all, because an informed community can make the right decision.